If you've got a Corvette C6, you're probably thinking about doing cylinder heads and you're thinking, is it worth the money? Which cylinder head should I get? Should I just port my cylinder heads? I get it, man. They're a big ticket item. I've got a Corvette C6. I've done the research. Let's talk about it. Cylinder heads can be a huge upgrade for your build if you're trying to get to a certain power level and you've already done the basic bolt-ons you know headers intake exhaust cylinder heads can give you a big bump especially if you do a cam with them but are they worth the money they can get super pricey cylinder heads can easily be fifteen hundred dollars plus getting the horsepower increase for the money is usually a big question for a lot of people now if you've got an ls2 a corvette with an ls2 you've got the 243 heads and those 243 heads they've got the cathedral port heads and that's what my Corvette has. Now they are ported and they do have a valve spring upgrade. Here's the thing about the 243 heads with them being cathedral port and they're called cathedral port because it looks like a church cathedral, the shape of them. They're a little limited. It's a little bit older tech and they're not terrible, but the airflow in them compared to the LS3 823 heads is subpar. And the LS3 makes more power because of those LS3, those 823 heads. Those 823 heads provide a couple of things. They provide a square port, provide a little bit better airflow, exhaust, and that's what really helps the power of the LS3 over the LS2 is the heads upgrade and the intake. That's gonna bring me to another point. If you've got the Corvette LS2, for the money, if you spend it on heads for LS2 heads, you're gonna spend $1,500. You're gonna still have the LS2 intake. It's not worth it. If you just wanna keep the LS2 intake, just port your 243 heads. That's about best route to go just port those 243s. If you've got an LS2, the best upgrade for the money is going to be going with some LS3 heads and then an LS3 intake because the LS3 intake flows pretty well. A lot of guys will consider doing like the BTR intake or the Fast 102, but compared to the stock LS3, not LS2, but LS3 intake, there's not crazy power gains for the money. For the best bang for your buck, if you've got an LS2, get the 823 heads for an LS2 three and then get the intake as well and that's gonna really get you probably extra 25 30 horsepower you know on average some guys say around 20 10 for the heads 10 for the intake but i'd say around 20 or 30 on average so best bang for the buck ls2 that's ls3 heads ls3 intake now if you just you have to do some heads and you're deciding on it or you have the ls3 you've already got the 823 heads you've already got the ls3 intake then there are some head options you can go with you know trig flow elder brock texas speed but once once again, this video is talking about best bang for the buck. So if you've got the LS3 with the A23 heads, the best bang for the buck is going to be just sending those babies to a machine shop and getting them ported and getting a valve job. And it's going to cost like $750. You can send them to Texas Speed. You can take them to one of your local machine guys. It's not like a crazy job, but you're looking at about $800 or so to get that done compared to buying a new set of heads, which are easily going to be twice that. And then if you get a new set of heads, you got to start worrying about push rod length and a couple other factors that can complicate things a little bit so the best bang for the buck if you've got an ls3 is just porting those a23 heads cylinder heads can be fifteen hundred dollars plus if you've got the LS2, best bang for the buck, go with the 243 heads, go with the LS3 intake. If you want to do a set of heads, you can do some trick flows, Elder Brocks. You know, you can do some trick flow 225s or something like that. And they're going to be decent. You'll still get like 20 extra horsepower out of them. But for the price, for the horsepower, it's not great. You're better off taking that money, unless you just want to keep an NA build, but you're better off taking that couple thousand and really applying it to some kind of boost, you know, a supercharger or something like that. But if you do like a cam, heads, the whole package, package you can get i mean some guys full bolt-ons i mean you can get 100 extra horsepower in a so it's a pretty decent setup and you can make 500 wheel with some upgraded heads and a bigger cam I mean, you don't have to go crazy on the cam either we'll talk about that in another video but yeah so best bang for the buck you get the ls3 stuff if you got the ls3 and you want to go with the set of heads i would say just port them but if you do want to get a set i would go with elder brock trick flow texas speed you can't go wrong with any of those guys and they're the most highest recommended on the forum and then, you know, if you want to go with an intake upgrade, you can get an LSX 10 Fast 102. You can get a BTR. Once again, we'll talk about that on another video. LS3, really all you got to do is port the heads and do the valves. That's the best way to go. If you've got the Z06, you absolutely have to do the heads, have to do the valves. Man, that's going to save your engine from catastrophic damage potentially because if one of those valves drops, it could bust up a couple pistons and it could get really expensive, like 20K plus. So don't do that. So yeah, I just want to make a quick video you know like my corvette c6 i had a uh, i was 
pushing water. I actually pushed some water a couple weeks ago. I've got the 243 heads. I was thinking about getting an upgraded set of cylinder heads for the power difference because my heads are ported. It's not worth it, but a set of aftermarket cylinder heads may be worth it if you want to go with something down the road that's going to be like a six bolt, for example, if you've got a six bolt block, or if you just want something with a thicker deck because you're in a higher boost application. At the end of the day, if I had LS2, I'd just get LS3 heads, LS3 intake, take that extra cash, put it towards some other mods. If I had an LS3, I would just port the heads, do the valves, call it a day. If I had a Z06, I would definitely do the heads ASAP. A lot of guys have reported seeing a little bit of clearance issues in the valves, even around 30,000 miles. So just be careful with that if you got one of those Z06s. Save some money, get the best bang for the buck upgrades that you can for the Corvette C6. Have a good tuner, throw that baby on E85 or some meth and uh, call it a day, man. Either way, I just want to shoot a quick video talking about cylinder heads for your Corvette C6. What's the best bang for the buck? I appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe if you like the content, man. We'll see you guys on the next one.